It is officially do or die time as Matt Eberflus's career as a Chicago Bears head coach could come to an end this upcoming Monday if he loses to the New England Patriots. We don't want a Bears loss, and I hope Flus can turn this thing around because according to reports, upper management has had it with Matt Eberflus, and if he loses this Sunday, he's done. Cooked. See you later. Same with Shane Waldron. Not only will the Boo Birds be out, but Matt Eberflus and much of his staff could be out of a job with a loss to the Patriots. Lots of factors entering Week 10 against New England, and I am here to break it all down for you guys. I want to see your energy. Get it in the comment section right now. Let's get things going. But hello, everyone, and welcome back to this episode of Just Another Year Chicago Bears. My name is Nick Brody, and as always, thank you for tuning in. And before we begin today's show, hit that like button if you want to help the Chicago Bears win this Sunday. Let's get the vibes high. Let's get everyone excited, and let's get a Bears win going, guys. Along with commenting, bear down in the comment section below. And are you new to the channel, or do you love Chicago Bears news and notifications? Well, hit that subscribe button to stay up to date and help me hit 20,000. We are 445 away, and I can't wait to hit that number because I'm going to give away a Caleb Williams autograph football when I do so. So let's jump into it. Matt Eberflus, see red hot. You ever think about burning your thumb on something too hot, getting your hand too close to the stove, a shower being hotter than you expected? That's how Matt Eberflus is feeling right now. He has to win this upcoming Sunday against the New England Patriots in order to keep his job. And not only that, he has to win big. Remember last year when he walked into the Washington Commanders game 0-4, sweating buckets before the game even started? Expect Flus to be doing that again. He is on the hot seat. He's going to have to be dialed in against the worst team in football in order to keep his job. Not only him, but Shane Waldron as well. The Bears currently have a nine-game home winning streak, so that's going for him. But if he snaps that, he's done. So keep an eye out for that. But expect a big game for the Bears this upcoming Sunday as they should against the Patriots, but they need a big win before they play Green Bay in week 11. So let's just jump into the breakdown of how these teams look against each other, starting with the offense versus the New England defense. The Chicago Bears offense currently is ranked 28th in total yards, 29th in passing, 23rd in rushing, and 19th in points. They were 14th last week. Obviously, you can tell that number is going down. But the Patriots defense, there is no excuse the Bears shouldn't have a big game against them. 26 in total yards allowed. 22nd in passing yards allowed, 26th in rushing yards, and 21st in points. This should be a huge game for the Chicago Bears. They should come in swinging on this one. They should score a lot of points in this game. And honestly, this is what this offense needs. A game like this, especially having some key players coming back like Ryan Bates, which is huge for this team. But you know Keenan Allen is thinking about those drops he had. DJ Moore is thinking about how people criticized him for walking off, even though he was injured. But this Bears offense has zero excuse to go and not have a big game against the New England defense. They are bad. And they did just bring in Yana Nagakwe, but I don't think he's going to do anything. He was on the Bears last year. Didn't do anything for us either. He's slowing down in his career, but he is going to be a factor, something for the Bears to look out for. Going into the Bears defense versus New England's offense, different story. Bears are ranked 12th in total yards allowed, 8th in passing yards allowed. New England's terrible at that. We'll get into that in a second. Rushing yards allowed 20th, missing Andrew Billings is going to be big, but Zach Pickens is getting a lot of hype behind him. This could be the game that he finally breaks out. Bears are also 5th in points allowed, so that's big for us. New England, on the other hand, terrible offensively. 32nd in total yards, 32nd in passing, 24th in rushing, in 30th in points. So expect New England to run the ball a ton this upcoming week against the Chicago Bears. And honestly, guys, I think that the Bears are going to just dominate. They're going to send the house. They're going to put a lot of pressure on Mac Jones. A lot of factors coming into this game especially from the injury report. Now, before I get into today's injury report, today's show is sponsored by Authentico Organic Tequila, a Chicago-based family-owned company. Makes their tequila in Guadalajara, Mexico. Comes in three fantastic flavors. Go to the link in the description now to find Authentico near you. Make sure you try it. And also, you have the chance to try it next Sunday against the Green Bay Packers because we are hosting our Second watch party of the year. The Chicago Bears take on the Green Bay Packers at home in week 11, November 17th, noon kickoff. Doors open at 1030 at Rizzo's Barn Inn in Wrigleyville, Illinois. And on top of that, two guys, game day specials, $8 wing baskets, freshy buckets, and Authentico Margarita specials. You are not going to want to mix this. And tickets are free. 
absolutely free. Go to the link in the description now. Get your ticket today. You are not going to want to miss this one. That Bears injury report, though, a big factor coming into the uh, Bears versus Patriots game. There are some key injuries out as the Bears are missing both their starting tackles in Darnell Wright and Braxton Jones, and they're also missing Karan Amagaji. But let's go through the list that came out this past Friday. Obviously, you can see Karan Amagaji is out with that calf injury. Jaquan Brisker still with that concussion injury is going to be out as well. A big factor for this Bears defense. They signed some guys this week to fill in for him. Really hope Brisker is okay, though. Braxton Jones tried coming back. He's out this week with that knee injury. Don All Right didn't practice at all with that knee injury. Darrell Terra, Noel, Noah Sowell, and Ryan Bates are all questionable. Ryan Bates is likely to play. Darrell Taylor also likely to play, even though he didn't practice on Friday. Kyler Gordon, though, Tevin Jenkins, Mercedes Lewis, Terrell Smith, and Mata Sweat, all back for the Chicago Bears. So things are going nice and high for this team right now. I think that this team is looking like they're in a good position at the moment. I'm excited to see what they bring to the table, especially having Gordon back, which is absolutely huge. Expect Gordon to have a big game. He's been wanting to be back on the field. He wants to show off that tattoo to everybody. But overall, guys, it's a big game upcoming for the Chicago Bears. I'm excited because this team has so much on the line. They can be 5-4 and four and only a game behind the Green Bay Packers entering this game. Because if the Bears beat the Packers in Week 11, that means and the Vikings lose one more game. We're in a three-way tie with the division. We are very much in this division, guys. I just want to put that out there too. Quickly, just going on a quick rant here, is that the Bears are far from out of this thing. I mean, they are looking very, very bad right now over the last two games. This is a rebound game. And this is the game that could change the rest of the season. The fans need to be loud. The energy needs to be great at Soldier Field because overall, this team can absolutely go out and demolish the Patriots like we've done in the Super Bowl in the past. But I want to see the Bears get after it. I want to see the Bears fight through pain. I want to see the Bears go out and send a message to the league that we are not out of this. We had a couple bad games and we can rebound quickly. And honestly, they can do that in a bunch of different ways. And that's why I want to go into my three keys of the game for this upcoming Sunday against the New England Patriots. Number one, as always, get the ball going with DeAndre Swift. When this guy has over 120 yards, the Bears are 4-1 and one this year. So putting that out there is that you get him going, the rest of the offense is going to get going. That's why I also want to say short passes from Caleb Williams. Let him get back in his groove. Shane Waldron has been giving him way too many deep passes lately. That's why we've been seeing those overthrows. Let Caleb one work under center, do short passes to Cole Komet, Shane Waldron. You need to give it to your tight end. One target over the last two games, absolutely ridiculous. But I want to see the Bears come out, give a good game plan to Caleb Williams and short passes, get his confidence up, and then go for the deep ball to Roma Dunze, also who I expect to have a great game. And then key number three, just defense. Be smart. The Patriots have nothing. Drake May gets lucky on these crazy throws. But the Bears need to play smart defense, get after him, and get things going early. But that's my three keys to the game, and I would love to hear your guys in the comments section below. And then finally, as always, guys, throw an FGB in there as well. I know you guys have probably already commented Bear Down. I know you guys have probably already commented your thoughts. But an FGB, we need to enter this game. The Packers are a devastating loss to the Detroit Lions. They got crushed at home. And I want to see the Bears come out a little bit more confident with our chest out and walk into Soldier Field next week at 5-4. and four. No excuses for that, but that obviously means that if they lose, Matt Eberfuss is gone. Who would the interim head coach be? Probably Richard Hightower, to be honest with you guys. But there is so much going on with this team. I'm excited for this upcoming Sunday. You guys should be too. Enjoy your Saturdays. Have the vibes high. Get some Authentico. Enjoy the beautiful weather. Because the Bears are back. They're back at home. They're on the lakefront. The Bears fans are going to be cheering very, very loud. You guys that are going to the game, have a good time. Get there safe. Be smart. But make sure that you are supporting this team. But if Flus is stinking, bring out the Boo Birds. Let up front office know we are done as fans and we want better. And I want to hear that in the comment section below. But guys, please, if you haven't already, hit that like button on the video. Subscribe to the channel. And comment Bear Down or FGB, whatever you guys want to do. And get pumped for this upcoming Sunday's game against the New England Patriots. I'm pumped up. We got the live stream dropping tomorrow at 11.45. Tune in. Make sure you have some fun and bring the good vibes. With that, thank you as always for tuning this episode of Just Another Year Chicago Bears. My name is Nick Brody, and as always, bear down, baby.